it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. We're at KubeCon 2019 in San Diego, and we're visiting with A10 Networks. Um, can you tell me a little bit about A10 Networks and what you're showing here at KubeCon? Absolutely, and thank you, Brian, for having us uh, at KubeCon. Uh, A10 Networks is uh, primarily uh, about uh, application delivery and application security in the multi-cloud world. Uh, we also have products uh, covering around 5G, and uh, DDoS uh, at scale. All of our solutions are designed for uh, high scale, carrier grade, high performance, uh, and ease of use at the same time. So in a nutshell, that's what A10 Networks is all about. And can you tell me a little bit about how enterprises are using uh, multi-cloud environments? With yeah, a typical enterprise today, you know, they have about hundreds of applications. And as you can see at KubeCon, uh, these applications are deployed in a distributed way. Uh, so a big challenge uh, when it comes to the distributed architecture of applications uh, is providing users with consistent application delivery and application security across the multiple cloud. So that's actually a big challenge, uh, especially in multi-cloud, because each cloud would, will have its own SLA, will have its own performance requirement, and that is something which uh, A10 Networks uh, works closely with the cloud vendor as well as with the on-premise location to provide you with a consistent application delivery and security for all the applications that you host. Uh, you mentioned security. Uh, obviously, security must be a, a big issue with enterprise customers in the multi-cloud. How do you guys handle that? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. And, when we talk about security, it's really about defense in depth. Uh, so one thing about the A10 solution is the application delivery controller, uh, that's the base. And on top of that, you can add uh, various levels of application security. So starting from the initial connectivity into the data center or into the cloud. So you can have a secure uh, IPsec, a VPN type of connectivity. Uh, you can have TLS uh, connectivity going all the way to your applications. Uh, you can have application layer firewalls. You know, these are like stateful firewalls. Uh, moving closer towards the network and the application layer, uh, you can have uh, bot detection, malicious traffic prevention, all done in real time as your application is load balanced. Now, when you move towards the application layer, uh, you have uh, DDoS, you know, application layer DDoS. That is a pretty important problem to solve uh, in this distributed environment. So with our solution, you know, there is a convergence of application delivery and security, uh, and security especially is layered at multiple layers, you know, so at the application stack, I was talking about web application firewall. That's also something, a key requirement uh, when you have uh, this combined stack. And so how do you work together with the uh, Kubernetes environments? Absolutely, and with, with Kubernetes, uh, we primarily have three key areas of focus. Uh, the first and foremost is the ingress point for your Kubernetes clusters. So this is where our thunder line of uh, you know, software and appliances can provide you a very high performance application uh, delivery and security platform ingress for all the applications that are hosted on your uh, Kubernetes clusters. So that's one. Uh, the second is the visibility and security that we can bring in to your Kubernetes environment. When you have a lot of microservices that are making up an application, uh, we enable a secure services mesh uh, by providing you with secure uh, you know, MTLS type of uh, encryption as well as visibility at a per service level. So that way you can apply your policies uh, at a per service level inside the cluster. So that's the second part. And the third part is 
specially targeted for the VNF, for the service provider ecosystem, wherein we can containerize uh, our operating system, our appliance, uh, and run it as a VNF, as a CNF, uh, in any of the ecosystem. So with Kubernetes, obviously, there's a lot of portability that we bring in. So it allows you to run the rich set of services uh, either at a CPE location, as a part of a platform, or as a standalone uh, environment itself. My name is Sudarshan. I'm a director of engineering at Aten Networks, responsible for our Kubernetes and multi-cloud solutions. Uh, specifically here, I'm going to talk about the secure service mesh product of Aten Networks, and then following that, how it's going to be deployed with a two-tier architecture with an external ADC, and the benefits of doing setting up a two-tier architecture. Great. Go to the slide. Uh, so this is, these are the feature sets of the secure service mesh. Uh, it's a transparent proxy that is set up to inspect east-west traffic. This is traffic flowing between your pods, within your Kubernetes infrastructure, which is very vital for you to make sure that, one, your application is set up correctly, the latencies are okay, and more importantly, giving you visibility. So visibility is very important so that you're able to define your security policies, the security policies get applied, and the I mean, it, it gives you the same thing. I mean, the, the policies get applied the way you expect them to, being able to keep up with your CI CD pipeline as your pods scale up, scale down, without you having to manually intervene. The configuration is kept up to date. It acts as a transparent proxy, being able to encrypt traffic as they're crossing node boundaries, uh, so that the plain text traffic stays within your nodes. Any traffic on the wire is encrypted. It's not just encrypted, it's also mutually authenticated. Client authentication enabled, or what's commonly referred to as MTLS. This would be the typical deployment of a secure service mesh. The layer below is the Kubernetes infrastructure. You have an application running as pods. Lightning ADC set up as a daemon set that's running on each of the nodes. Harmony controller is the centralized management and visibility station. And the ingress controller, or what we now refer to as the ATEN Kubernetes connector, acting as an extension of the Harmony controller that is keeping the configuration up to state with whatever is the current state of Kubernetes. So switching gears to the two-tier architecture, one that we recommend that customers should uh, to consider at least, is you have an external ADC and an internal ADC. An external ADC can offer you features like WAF, DDoS protection, that is what we refer to as one DDoS, uh, global server load balancing when you have DR requirements, SSL offload with SSL acceleration, uh, authentication support, certificate management, app access management, and all of that, which can be set up on the external ADC that can span across multiple Kubernetes clusters. And then when you get to your single Kubernetes cluster, the secure service mesh offers all of the features that we discussed in the previous slide. Right? So this would be the rough, uh, you can think of it like the packet flow. So you have your clients uh, that are coming in to multiple clouds wherever that your applications are deployed. You have your north-south tier that we refer to as the tier one. And the second tier, which is the east-west proxy that is the secure services mesh. You could have multiple Kubernetes clusters running across clouds once again. And you get to apply all of your security policies, get visibility into your traffic. And all of them is managed through Harmony Controller, which is the centralized access point, which is our big differentiator with any of the other meshes available. The fact that we are able to integrate the north-south proxy into the same visibility and configuration station. We talked about our application delivery and application security uh, you know, overview of Kubernetes solution. Uh, one key thing uh, in a multi-cloud world is providing your visibility uh, at a per app, per flow level in real time, which is enabled by our Harmony controller. Uh, so it provides you with these real-time metrics uh, irrespective of where your infrastructure is, which is a very powerful tool in the distributed environment. Uh, our products are available online for free trial. Uh, so come by, you know, visit us and sign up for a free trial today. Thank you so much, and happy KubeCon.